Hi everybody here, Dixon back. I'm uh, just trying to get over the flu, <clears throat> so I apologize for coughing a little bit during this, but um, you know, there's something that's been bothering me a lot on Instagram. Michael Rappaport, you might remember him, great actor, talented guy, and I thought, I used to follow him big time. I was a big supporter. He shares videos. I loved his outspokenness against Trump, and I guess because he's Jewish, I guess, that he hated Trump because uh, so many Nazis love and adore Trump. So I was really proud of his stance, you know, because uh, everybody hates fucking Nazis unless you're a, a fucking Nazi or some idiot racist and a Semitic. <clears throat> so at all this respect for Michael Rappaport, then October 7th happened and Michael Rappaport quickly, as he should, condemned the terrorism, the killing and massacre of the innocents people in Israel. And I was so proud of him for that. And then the IDF went over into Gaza <clears throat> and started doing the same, <laughs> killing innocents. So Michael Rapp Rappaport still to this day only condemns the killing of innocents when it's Israelis. But he has yet to condemn the killing of innocents on a much larger scale as we all know, in Gaza, the Palestinian people of the Muslims. <clears throat> and I thought Michael Rappaport was a truth speaker. He's not. He's biased. And it's sad. <clears throat> He's somebody who I had great respect for. But Michael Rappaport, for what it's worth, man, just be honest. Can't you just condemn the killing of innocents the same way that many of us and many of my Jewish friends are condemning the killing and the genocide happening, the starvation of babies, of human beings, man. You might just look at their religion. You might just look at their brown skin. But guess what? They're just like me and you, Michael Rappaport. They're just human beings that want to live, man. The same way those poor Jewish people that wanted to live when Hamas went in and took their life, it's the exact same feeling, man. They just want to stay alive. They don't want to be massacred. They don't want to be terrorized. They don't want to be destroyed. Recognize their humanity. Condemn what the IDF is doing to those people. Recognize the genocide, man. Then maybe we can move forward with some respect for you again. Till then, man, you're a lost cause. And it's sad. It's truly sad.